Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to this quickfire video, which I'm joined by Gaurav Jury uh, of Topelio. Um, hi, Gaurav. Um, the, the IoT market has grown rapidly, um, and, it's, and it's become a critical component in, in driving industries such as automotive, healthcare, many others. Um, but perhaps the way that IoT products are tested it hasn't changed so much. Yeah, that's that's very true, Jim. So almost every product today we are using is connected, uh, and the penetration of these connected products is growing. Uh, value to customers is increasingly being powered by software. So one can say intelligent connected products are all pervasive, which essentially means customer experience is critical. Uh, in fact, many of these connected systems are mission critical. Uh, so you cannot afford to have software failures in the field. Uh, and testing IoT systems comprehensively has never been more important than it is today uh, and in the subsequent futures as that unfolds with the IoT, et cetera. So failures have consequences uh, which need to be appreciated. These can be reputational, legal, financial. Uh, and other thing is innovation is, a, is the core of market leadership for anybody playing in these markets. Uh, you need to innovate faster than competition, which essentially means that you've got to A, ensure uh, that your products are top quality, are uh, delivering great experiences, work as intended, and you're able to innovate much faster, make product releases much faster than you've done in the past. So pretty much testing uh, needs to be looked at in that light as a strategic critical capability uh, for market leadership uh, and customer uh, customer success. Okay, thank you. So, so in this you know, faster evolving, more innovative uh, in environment, um, uh, how are companies going about testing their kinetic connected products and IoT applications just to make sure that they work when they get into the field? And and I, I guess why do you feel that's inadequate? The the ideal way to uh, approach a testing solution for products like these is to consider uh, the fact that a solution must give you full test coverage. It must give you the ability to test software at any time in the life cycle, i.e., left shift. And it's something that should actually not take away your engineering teams from the core job that they're supposed to do, which is build great products, innovate, innovate uh, developing new products. So essentially, the cornerstone of any solution platform that goes into uh, addressing uh, testing for connected products must have uh, virtualization, simulation, and automation at the heart of uh, that platform. And, one, and, and organizations need to look at uh, the, their test solution from these three lenses to make sure they're able to achieve uh, great quality, move faster, and also be cost efficient while doing so. Okay, thank you. And and expanding on this, I guess, we have an upcoming webinar, don't we? It, and entitled, Field Failures Are Costly, How to Avoid Them with Virtual Testing. So, so who's that for? Uh, and what can our audience expect when they tune into our webinar? So the webinar is actually targeted at anybody who is uh, an engineering leader uh, or engineering practitioner in the field of IoT and connected products. Uh, essentially, what we're talking about is the fact that virtualization and simulation uh, need to be a cornerstone of your digital and connected product strategy. Uh, what we'll focus on in the webinar is to a, understand the unique challenges of IoT software testing in real world environments and the shortcomings of current methods. Uh, we will uh, we will learn about how virtual testing can simulate very complex IoT scenarios to identify failures early. Uh, discover the financial benefits of reducing field failures through fail through virtual testing. Uh, we will also share some insights from real world case studies showcasing how this is being done effectively by industry leaders, and we explore how virtual testing can enhance the over quality overall quality and reliability of your IoT products. Great. Well, thank you very much, uh, Gaurav, and thank you to everyone out there who's tuned in to this quick fire video. Um, so thanks for watching us, and please do join us uh, for the webinar, and there should be a link below to register for that.